Hello everybody, this is String Gamer here for the final part of the Spooky Showdown Tournament. And we have, well, we have the semi-final to do first, so we don't even know our final two yet. So without further ado, let's get on with our first semi-final match. Right the O then, in the red corner, we have got the Uteractor. The little purple predator here. Well, no, that said one sorry. Okay, the purple and yellow predator. The Ute Thief. Even victory away from the Gorgosaurus in the first round. In the blue corner, we have got the Blood Red Panoplosaurus. Filled with, bl filled with blood rage, this Panoplosaurus clobbered the Acrocanthosaurus in round one. And we'll be looking to pummel the Uteraptor in the semi finals. Yes, I, I, I know it's after Halloween, and I realise that. <laughs> yes, I know. But better late than never. Eh? Ooh, we start with a hit from Panopla. Boosh! And a Takijara dive to boot. Good start from the Panoplosaurus. Uber the Uteraptor strikes back. Oh, that's a tie. The blunder effect from the Uteraptor there. Ooh, and it's a crit from the Uteraptor. Lily NQ is coming into play as well. Healing up the Uteraptor. And all of a sudden, Uteraptor's in the lead. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. Is this mole attack going to be lethal? Um, well, not so it might be. I don't think it's going to be, but it's going to be very close. Yeah, I thought it would. But look at that from Panoplosaurus turning the tables instantly. But the Uteraptor gets the job done with a hurricane beat. Going to be digging his toenails into Panoplosaurus's hide. Boosh, 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 boosh. Boosh and pick. Oh, he went belly up. <laughs> like a turtle. And now it's a 1-0 lead for Uteraptor. Let's not count Panoplosaurus out yet. We can still turn this around. So let's move on to round two. Right then, round two. Can the Uteraptor get secure that place in the final? Or will Panoplosaurus' blood rage get him back in the contest? You've got the sky strong with a crit. Can't open up the swords. Do something. Oh, you're getting a hit there, my friend. A tapy jar of dive to beat as well. But that could be the crucial point. That could be crucial. A dino illusion getting triggered. Now that, now that will be crucial. It will stop the Uteraptor from getting hit again. Boosh! And the, unlike the other moves, Dino Illusion actually stays until it happens, basically. <laughs> Ooh, but will Uteraptor need it? Hurricane Beak coming in, and the Panoplosaurus is in for a kick in. Look at look how tiny the Uteraptor is there. It's tiny. The Panoplosaurus' head is like half the size of it. But it is Uteraptor shredding his way to the final. And that is the end of Panoplosaurus. Right, that's one semi-final down. One to go. Right then, in the red corner, we have got the Amargosaurus, the Loch Ness Monster Imposter. And look into Drown Gygus in a big lake of waterness. <laughs> and it'll have, a, it'll have type advantage as well, even though we're on the volcano field. In the blue corner, we've got the one and only Gygus. Now this could be an interesting match. We could see the spectral armor. This is one of the ma this is one of the matches matchups where we could see spectral armor be a factor. Because if Gygus gets like hell, a crit actually, yes. Yeah, ironically, I think his crit would be his weakest move. <laughs> So yeah, if he gets off crit, it won't do much damage to the Amargosaurus because of the type disadvantage. Which means that the bar will fill up, could fill up. 
Of course, if a Margasaurus gets a crit, then he's probably going to kill Gaius instantly. We'll see what happens. We start with a tie. Here comes a heat eruption. Here's the big battle cry from Gavro. <laughs> Not bad damage there, volcano boost effect, heat eruption could be key for Gygus. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. It's a tragic sphere. And it's gonna absolutely bust Gygus up. Oh, look at that! Oh, just lucky the Amargosaurus didn't have attack boost. Otherwise, Gygus would be dead already. Ooh, Gygus getting off a firebomb. But, again, a tight disadvantage is gonna be. gonna limit the damage. Yeah, you can see that. Probably two. Amargosaurus may even be able to tank two of those. But Geigers will not tank this hit. Amargosaurus finishing the job. Getting a 1 0 lead. The Hydro Cutter. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Not even close. Oh, let's say Geigers go off. The Tragic Sphere, the Heat Eruption. Yeah. But will we see Spectral Armor in round two? Let's find out. Right then, round two, and now we're in the volcano field again. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? Oops! I can't get. Oops, I must have swiped Goma instead. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Never mind, so. Ooh, Margosaurus landing the first blow, getting off an attack boost there. But yeah, Margosaurus is powered all in the crit, so Gigas will not take too much damage. Ooh, a firebomb from Gygus. Gygus striking back. Not going to do much damage like in round one, but it will fill the bar up. And I am willing for Spectral Armor. I'm willing to see Spectral Armor. Oh, as a tie, that'll definitely help. No heat eruption, however. Ooh, Gygus getting a net crusher. That's probably his strongest attack. Boosh. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Although I think Gigas will still need two more hits to win this round. Oh no, he's not gonna get it! Spectral Armor's going down the toilet, and I think Gigas is going down there as well. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> Quicker than you can say, a lot less mess. The Amargosaurus dispatches Gygus and advances to the finals. Well, this will be an interesting matchup in the final, won't it? A clash of the silvers between Uteraptor and Amargosaurus. So without further ado, let's get on with that final matchup, shall we? Okie dokie then, in the red corner, we have got the Uteraptor. The Utafif in the thief steal victory away from the Amargosaurus. Well, he's going to have to keep his wits about him, and that Dino Illusion could be crucial in this final matchup. In the blue corner, we've got the return of the Amargosaurus. This orange powerhouse of a dinosaur. Well, we've, definitely, we've all seen what it can do. Utahraptor is going to have to be very, very careful. Ooh, an attack boost coming from Amargosaurus, but it's not a crit, so... Ooh, could have done with the Dino Illusion there, just in case, just in case. You never know how handy a Dino Illusion can be. Oh, that's alright. Relief for the Uteraptor there. He survived. Okay, that's it, Uteraptor. Go for scissors. If you go for scissors or rock, you don't get hit by the crit. Ooh, a Margosaurus does get a hit, but because the attack boost was nullified, by the blunder type effect of the Uteraptor, Amargosaurus will not get it off. And the Dino Illusion has been triggered, so that means Uteraptor is safe from the crit. Oh, speaking of crits, Uteraptor getting a crit of his own. Our little purple Uteraptor getting back in this matchup here. 
Although, a Magasaur does have the slight lead, I will say because the Dino Illusion is triggered, that the Utah that does have the upper hand. Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion, and Magasaur does get a hit, but again, Dino Illusion's gonna cancel it out. And the Magasaur doesn't get to max up that attack boost. Ooh, he tried the crit, but the Ute is having none of it. And look at this, it's an impressive performance so far from Utahraptor, again, back in this contest. Oh, nope, nope, it's dead. <laughs> Just like that, a Magasaur is snatching round one. Ugh, <laughs> Just when Utahraptor was gaining the upper hand, there, co there comes a tragedy of the sphere to end the Uteraptor and give Amagasaurus a 1-0 oh, lead. Right, on to round two, which could be the final round of this tournament if Amagasaurus wins. Ooh, we're on the desert field. Could this be why Uteraptor needs to get back in this contest? And yes, I swiped Ed because of... <laughs> I thought I was repeating the semi final I was swiping the codes for the semi-final match, not the final. Because I think this is the first time where I've actually done a semi-final and then the final in the same video. I've never done it before. Oop, we start with a tie. And, okay, okay, I'm just going to say Amargosaurus wins. <laughs> this tragedy of the sphere won't kill you, Raptor, but is basically going to leave it with a sliver of health. Okay, a little bit of health, but yeah, Amargosaurus needs one more hit to secure the win. Okay, that's a tie. Come on, you Raptor. Get back in this game. You can do it. Doesn't even get Dino. Yeah, there it is. Game over. <laughs> wow. The Loch Ness Monster Imposter winning the Spooky Showdown Tournament. And in some style as well. Dispatching all of us with relative ease. Eucharapter's story ends in a tragedy. Just like Gygus and... Who else did Amargosaurus face? Oh yeah, Namectosaurus. <laughs> right, we will say congratulations to Amargosaurus for winning, even though you only won because you kept getting crits. And we'll say commiserations to all the other spooky dinosaurs that kind of were underwhelming. And yep, yeah, that is it for the Spooky Showdown Tournament for 2022. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and feel free to drop a comment if you want. I may heart it. And until next time, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.